in your in your template right you will see something known as the log reports okay the reports button basically in the earlier system it manu it basically we can only see the login logout and all this one actually generates graphs for you the system will create graphs for you okay let's assume that we are in the class okay so we can look at logs or live logs or we can look at activity reports okay so you have activity report just click activity report okay so activity report gives you just a breakdown of everything in this format okay but we go in for analytics go for analytics you, you go back to course the the analytics graph okay there is something inside this known as analytics graphs now that's the reason why i enrolled you as student you will see the participation okay so the so you click on analytics graphs you look at uh, content access let's look at content access okay you click on all some more all click click file okay and then you the date okay right the date okay okay right bill graph okay so this is basically all of us now we are in the class including the lecturer so earlier what is to happen you have to write a script so you have to write a script extract and put the data in the c program the c uh, the sorry which program we use r we use r program to extract the data out but in this system there is no need to write any program you just get the data straight away so assignment means three uh, scroll over zul three have not access 19 have not access assignment so you can see that so lecture note 7 and 15 you can see okay now if you mouse over you will see the actual activity for that particular note for, so you can see for example if your student did not in, get the lecture note just click you can send them the message straight away they will get please access your lecture note oh you have not come for the lecture today <laughs> so please download so you can see it directly and then you click okay so that's why it's a good practice whenever you come they come to class all the student they probably bring their handphone or you use your laptop right tell them to when they come in for the class log on just log on because you actually capturing the data from the student okay so you will see it in your email <laughs> so you'll click send email and it will go to your respective uh, folder so this way there is everything is transparent so when you prepare your course file no one can say you did not do or it was not it's all in the course file you print and paste copy and paste in your course file okay so you can download this okay you can download here click here and you can download as pdf jpeg download a pdf that's your course file so at the end of your 14 weeks of instruction you can just print and you attach it okay so you download pdf and you can see it there okay so let's look at some of the other parameters you'll see the other activity so you have analytics for also for actual activity analytics go for the go for the number of active students click there okay so you have a big class of students like 120 students you don't know whether they are active or not or whether they are just in the class but not there you can actually see it with this so you tell when they enter your class you log on to the system and then you can see so you can see the active student everybody comes up there it pops up there at that time so if they are active in the night for example you are doing a offline class you can also track it here okay so that's about the analytics in the system so the analytics is very useful for what we call is adapt adaptive learning adaptive learning is when we identify students uh, basically shortcoming and we do intervention as part of the, your formative assessment okay so that's about